All right, Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade here. We've made it to another Friday and we are once again dealing with a weak tropical disturbance, trying to throw some rain our way. If you've been outside across the Houston area, Galveston, Pearland, Sugarland today, you probably run into a little bit of rain. All right, let's talk about where we've been so far for this season. We've already had not one, not two, but three tropical storms impacting parts of the Atlantic Basin. Of course, this year's hurricane season started at the beginning of June and we are cranking the systems on out. We've had three, one short lived tropical storm. Our very first one of the season, Andrea, it was weak, but it did form and it did not impact the U.S. It formed in the central Atlantic back in the beginning of June and it never even got close to the U.S. Then we had tropical storm Barry towards the end of June. That one was unorganized but brought flooding to southeastern Mexico. And then 4th of July weekend, we had tropical storm Chantal that made landfall in South Carolina and caused some flooding issues there. So since then, we haven't had any additional named storms. The next name on the list would be Dexter. We had a chance to have tropical storm Dexter in the Gulf last week and now it's like deja vu one week later we still have another chance to have Dexter in the Gulf but the chance only 10% unlikely so at least for the Atlantic Basin we haven't had any hurricanes yet. The average date of the first Atlantic Basin hurricane right around August the 11th. So typically when we get into the month of August, that activity kind of starts to ramp up and increase. So make sure you're ready. As far as hurricanes this season, like I said, for the Atlantic Basin, zero. We are expecting about an average of around seven for the entire season. Colorado State University meteorologists predicting about eight hurricanes for this season. So a little above the norm. Well, we haven't had any yet but we are tracking this very weak, disorganized tropical disturbance very close to the southeastern Texas, close close to southwestern Louisiana, still producing those disorganized showers and storms. It has a very limited time to develop over the Gulf. I think it's going to move inland likely late tonight or during the day on Saturday, very close to the Houston area. So that will end any chance for tropical development. And even now, it's only a very low 10% shot. So likely not going to happen. But as you can see, over the Houston, Galveston, Lake Jackson area. Some heavy downpours, especially southwest of Houston. We've got a strong storm going there. Getting close to Bay City, El Campo. That's going to dump some heavy rain and producing a lot of lightning. So as far as this Gulf disturbance, this Gulf low that we have, there's certainly very warm water temps in the north central Gulf and northwestern Gulf in the 80s to help fuel this system but it is already very close to making landfall. So limited time over that warm water will mean we're probably not going to see this thing really get its act together. And I think it's gonna be history by tomorrow, but it will still bring those spotty downpours to parts of the Gulf Coast. In fact, a big chunk of the Texas Gulf Coast getting in on some of that heavy rain for tonight, Saturday, and even into Sunday. We're still gonna be getting those waves of rain. You can see that on our Fox weather model, our tropical edition showing some heavy downpours just west of Houston by 10 p.m. Friday night. Heading into Saturday, we're going to recharge the atmosphere, get a few more rounds of heavy rain rolling into Galveston and Houston through the morning and through the afternoon. Even on Sunday, still expecting some tropical downpours. So maybe an additional one to two inches of rain from this tropical disturbance for the southeast Texas area. So if you've got some outdoor plans, hey, there may be some interruptions, some delays this weekend, so get ready for that. Flash flood risk from this tropical disturbance still in the low category for Houston, one out of four risk, and that is the same deal for the Louisiana Gulf Coast and really for much of the Texas Gulf Coast, that low risk for some isolated street flooding. All right, like I said, as we get closer to August, we'll likely start to see things ramp up in other parts of the Atlantic Basin. So what about the Atlantic Ocean? Well, I wanted to show you Monday at 7 p.m. Notice this area of showers and storms. This is in the far east Atlantic, but models may be showing something trying to get going that could potentially turn into a tropical system, but it would have to make it all the way across the Atlantic to even have a chance to mess with the U.S. So we'll watch it closely, but it would take several days before we would really start to be concerned about that impacting us. All right, as far as formation zones for these systems for the rest of this month, northwestern Gulf, southwest Atlantic, northwest 
U.S. Caribbean, definitely some hot spots. The chance still on the lower side. Chances, though, really increase for tropical storms, hurricanes for the month of August, especially in the western Atlantic and in the north central Gulf. So those are going to be some of the hot spots as we move into August. What about September? Well, as we all know, September 10th, around the peak of hurricane season. So this is usually when things are the busiest historically. So in September, we've got a higher frequency of hurricanes that tends to be in the western Atlantic or near Bermuda. So you can see that purple area in part to the western Atlantic. That is the most likely region for development for these tropical systems. So we'll be watching it closely. At least now we've just got our very weak disturbance close to southeast Texas, southwestern Louisiana. That one likely not going to develop into anything. But as we get into August, we will have a higher shot for tropical development. And of course, we do these tropical updates every single day. So keep checking back on Texas Live and Local. And if there's any tropical trouble out there, you will be the first to know.